It's finally vacation time, and I'm getting ready to fly out of here. But does this ever happen to you? As the plane descends for landing, your ears start hurting. This can be very uncomfortable and can last a long time, even once you're on the ground. The pain is caused by changes in pressure and a lack of pressure equalization in the ear. This animation shows what happens. The sensory organs in the middle ear are protected behind the airtight seal of the eardrum. When air pushes into the ear, the pressure forces the eardrum to stretch. This stretching is normally equalized by the so-called eustachian tubes. This is what happens when landing. During the flight at high altitudes, air pressure in the cabin is less than it is on the ground. As the plane begins its descent, cabin pressure increases rapidly within a few minutes. This increased pressure forces the eardrum to stretch. If the eustachian tubes are clogged due to a cold or simply anatomically too small, the pressure cannot be adequately equalized. The stretched eardrum begins to hurt. This little invention is supposed to bring relief. It should stop the ear pain or at least reduce it. These earplugs were developed by medical technicians in Schwetzingen, Germany. Inside them is a golden metal device containing a delicate, almost invisible 0.5 micron tube, which should stop or at least greatly reduce ear pain. The plugs should be inserted into the ears before descent for landing. As the cabin pressure increases, these delicate tubes allow only a regulated amount of pressure to reach the eardrum. This way, the eustachian tubes are given more time to equalize the pressure before the painful stretching of the eardrum begins. That would certainly help me, but do these earplugs really work? I'm going to find out. And instead of doing it in an airplane, I'm going to the Vivantis Clinic in Berlin. They have a pressure chamber, and they also happen to be in the middle of a laboratory study regarding ear protection with over 20 affected people. And today, under medical supervision, it's my turn. I put both earplugs into my ears. Okay, I'm all set. Good, then here we go. The pressure in the chamber is increased, similar to landing in an airplane. You can hear it. The pressure is getting higher. I'm curious to know if my eardrums are eventually going to start hurting. So far, so good. The pressure in the chamber continues to increase. It's not exactly pleasant in here, but at least my ears aren't bothering me. We've reached 0.2 bar. That means we've successfully landed, and I have absolutely no trace of pain in my ears. It worked. The earpieces should stay in for a while after landing to ensure gradual and complete pressure equalization in the ears. But I can tell you this already. I'm very impressed with how well these things work. Of course, I also want to know the results of the laboratory tests. For that, I have to go to the Charité. This is the office of Dr. Dirk Yuma, the head of the research team. The examination in the pressure chamber has shown that the earplugs which were used have no influence on the function of the eustachian tubes, and that patients who have previously had problems with pressure equalization have less problems when using the devices, an alleviation of discomfort where there once was discomfort. Good, thank you very much, Dr. Juma. Until next time, have a good flight. The test results are in. These little earplugs stop or at least greatly reduce ear pain when landing. So they've passed the test. And now it's time for me to board and with one less thing to worry about. I wish you a comfortable flight and a great vacation. Bye.